number one Iron Age booty daddy. A question to every small creator out there. Do large creators owe you their time? Now, why would I come out right off the bat and ask that question? Well, I'm watching a back and forth right now over on Twix, and it got me thinking, why is this a thing? Why are there some small creators out there who feel that larger creators owe them their time? Well, if you guys want to hear my thoughts on this, and if you guys disagree with me, make sure to comment down below. But before we get into all of that, please do me a favor. If you like what I have to say here, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and ring the notification bell. Now, YouTuber crap out of the way, we're going to talk about this. So, obviously, Eric July is a big topic of conversation on this channel here. That's what a lot of my subscribers come to hear me talk about, or my thoughts on what's going on with the Ripperverse and so on. Well, tonight I'm seeing a back and forth between a small comic creator and Eric July. And essentially, this small creator said that Eric July owes the community as a whole his time, effort, and energy to promote them. I categorically disagree with this, and I think it is wrong. I do not think that any creator needs to dedicate their time, effort, and energy to anyone other than their customers. Now, what do I mean by this? Let's go into it a little deeper. For me, here on this channel, do I owe any other creator out there my time, effort, and energy? No, I do not. I owe the people on my channel and in my community, and by community I mean my Gilded server, my time, effort, and energy to provide them with content that they want to watch, to provide them with creators that they want to find. That's the brand of my channel, that is how I have set it up, that is what is expected, and that is the only thing expected. Going even further than that, there is no expectation that, let's just say, a creator comes onto my tiny little channel here, and for some reason, I do happen to know larger channels check me out, for some reason, a larger channel goes, hey, I really liked that creator you highlighted, they bring that guy up, that guy gets uber famous, and then all of a sudden never drops the word or drink with crazy from his mouth. Now, let's say that happens. Let's say a creator that I highlight gets super famous. Am I owed their time, effort, and energy for them to mention that they were on my channel? Absolutely not. Now, what about creators who you've never been around, who you've never even known, but they simply operate in your space? Am I? Do I have to dedicate my time, effort, and energy to people who, one, I probably don't even really know about, and two, just because they talk about the same things that I talk about, do I owe them my time, effort, and energy to lift them up? No. No, I do not. Ultimately, I feel that it is, on the, it is the responsibility of every creator to build their audience, to grow their audience. Now, the fact of the matter is a lot of creators out there, whether they're comic book creators or YouTube creators or novelists or tabletop RPG creators. It is on all of us to do that. And the fact of the matter is, is some of them aren't going to be good at marketing. I'm not good at marketing. I suck at it, right? I've seen channels start when this channel started taking off and they have far surpassed me and good for them. But nobody owes anybody anything. The idea that a larger creator would owe the small creators their time, effort, and energy simply because they operate in somewhat of a similar space is asinine. What it does is it gets rid of the meritocracy idea, right? The idea of basically just trying to get somebody else's audience for your own. This is something that I categorically disagree with. This is something that I don't think that people should be trying to do. No creator out there should be shouting at larger creators that they should do this. This is something that I have said many, many times about like the Geeks and Gamers crew, the Friday Night Tights crew, right? People in that space. I've said flat out, I've had the conversations with many people and I do calm down these sentiments because I look at people and I say, look, they don't owe you their time, they don't owe you their audience, and they most certainly, if you're saying that they owe you something, you're the last person that they owe anything to. 
It comes across as greedy in my mindset. It comes across as something that really makes me wonder. It really makes me wonder with this independent sphere and everybody going after their dreams of creating or their goals of creating or whatever you want to call it. Maybe they're just trying to build a business because, well, hell, they just like it. I mean, hell, I'd like to be able to do this for a living. That would be cool. But I'm not owed any creator's time who's larger than me who happens to operate in the same space. That comes down to greed, envy, things like that. Parts of human nature that we used to universally agree on that were bad things. I would strongly recommend that anybody out there, if you're feeling this, if you're feeling, no, why don't they shout the smaller guys out? Why don't they do this? Why don't they, why don't they, why don't you try to build up instead of the envious and the greedy ideas there? Say, hey, man, look at what these large guys are doing. Why don't we let that invigorate us and help push us in the direction that we want to go? Why don't we get inspired by these guys instead of asking, what can you do for me? That's a question that I've always hated. I've always hated asking, what can you do for me? How about this? How about ask this question? What can I do for you? That's the bigger one that I would love to see out of the creator community. And that's something that I really do hope that so many more people pay attention to. Guys, I understand building, building up from nothing is hard. Building up, trying to engage with an audience, trying to just get that audience to see the thing that you're creating. It's hard. It's tough. I know. Trust me. I was a musician for a lot of years and, you know, wasn't really good at it. Hell, if I was good at it, I probably would have made something out of it, right? Well, I get it. I know what it's like to try to get an audience, to try to grow that audience, but not at the expense of being envious and greedy of what larger creators have. Instead, become inspired by these people. Figure out what they did. Figure out, I don't know, how to talk to their audience, but talk to their audience in a humble way, in a way that is welcoming to them. I never, ever think that anybody owes you anything because the fact of the matter is they don't. But if you ask politely, they may graciously offer you their time. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for checking out this video. And as always, until next time, cheers, everybody. Thank you all so much for checking out this video. And I would ask, beg, borrow, and steal just to get you guys to click the links down in the description below to join my Gilded server and my drinkwithcrazy.locals.com. Oh, and by the way, just in case you guys didn't know, I'm also over on Rumble as well. So click that link while you're down there. See you next time.